And so the nine concepts of energy. Healing is going to be number one. And this has to deal with your intuition and your ability to start things, your ability to manifest. And then from there, you're going to align with balance. This will put you on the right path. So then you can experience support. This support happens in your mind, body, and spirit, but also can be gifted to you through connections with other divine beings through your experiences. And then you're going to go into protection. This is having guided, reflected, focused moments that permit you the changes and shifts. And these occur because you're allowing trust to navigate you. And from there, we reflect with attention and purpose and this liberates us which gives us deep connection to spirit that sometimes call people like to say is luck right and then we've got balance which is abundance and we exchange energy and harmony that then reveal cycles to us that allow us to let go and gain so these nine concepts of energy are basically the cycles that we we shift through in our life experiences but only when we allow and permit ourselves to no one is depending on you to do this for them and you should not be depending on anyone for you to do this to get you to where you need to be uh, the reality of this world is dependent on your individuality and this is why i encourage people to focus solely on your truth which permits you access to your divine roof and once you have a roof built and that foundation no one can disturb you all right that's my piece